So the final step of the time and material card is submitting it to your client. Just before you submit, we can review your card to make sure you entered in everything correctly before you submit it. All right, let's submit. Uh-oh, it seems that you have a material or subcontractor that hasn't been added to your timesheet. From here, we have two options. You can either proceed and submit the timesheet, or you can go back and review where you've missed an entry and correct it. In this case, it's a packing slip for the concrete that was used. Once you've completed that, it'll bring you to the Confirm Submission page and where you can write any additional notes about your project. So I'm going to write, Completed work, the pump operator had to work two hours overtime due to weather delays. Then, we can select the appropriate customer rep in order to approve and sign off to the time and material submission. For this project, it's going to get sent to Jane Peters, who is a superintendent for the general contractor on this job site. You can then go ahead and press continue, and it'll take you to the signature page where you can sign off and submit this time and material sheet to your client. After you've submitted it, you'll notice that this time card will move to the in review section. This means that now your client is reviewing your time card for approvals and signatures. And there we have it. We have successfully submitted our time and material card.